As the immortal bard of Avon once said to his beautiful mistress Anne. Yeah, what was that? If thou wert but a tear in mine eye, I would not cry for fear of losing thee. Ooh, no, that's not bad. He also said, want to see a trick I learned in prison? No, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He never all say right, that. All right, he did. All right, he did. He did. <laughs> that's right, he did. He said, my lady, I want you to have my children. They're in a car out back. No, 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 no. All for two, all for two. No, no, no. He said, my name is an Elmo, but you can tickle me anytime. No, stop that. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> well, that's in King Richard. That's in Richard III. Huh? Come here. What? Where are we at? No. Don't trust me on this one. What? We're going to carry on a conversation. What? we got a show to do. Oh, you're shut messing up. up. Trust you in what? In what? Uh, hello? No, no, no. <laughs> are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, but where are we going to get handcuffs and a little bow peep? That's not through? what oh. I'm thinking. <laughs> my dear, can I call you my dear? Really? <laughs> all right, how about cuddle pants? Oh, leave her alone with cuddle pants. Come on, get up here. Where have you been all my life? For the first half, she wasn't even born. <laughs> Ignore him, my dear. Both the ocean and the lion may roar, but only one can support a shrimp. Huh? <laughs> you must know that it is the pleasure of the bee to gather honey from the flower, but it is also the pleasure of the flower to yield its honey to the bee. Just don't ask him about seedless grapes. <laughs> This bud of love by summer's ripening breath will be a beauteous flower when next we meet. This bud's for you. <laughs> Snuck! What? Do you know what it means to come home to a woman who will love you, cook for you, worship you, and adore you? Sure, it means you're in the wrong house. <laughs> what have you? Ow! God dang hey, it. What's the matter? What? What the? <laughs> you just couldn't resist, could you? What happened? What, 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 what? I hope it was you and not him. <laughs> Otherwise, we just found one of the merry men. <laughs> what, 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 what? I got the old two-fingered sneak attack. Oh, 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 oh. That hurts. Thank you. <laughs> well, it might be a pinched nerve. It was definitely a pinch, and it took a lot of nerve to do it. <laughs> I can be of some assistance. I am studying to be a doctor. A doctor? A doctor. You don't look much like a doctor. Well, you don't look that hurt, so just bend over. Let me have a look at you. <laughs> you a doctor or a lawyer? Never mind. Just turn around. Hey, I'm not wild about that. Believe me, neither am I. Why not? For you'd be like looking in a mirror, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, except I'm clean shaven, okay? <laughs> now, I'm gonna look around. Oh, no! It's worse than I thought. What? It's completely split up the middle. Oh, come on! <laughs> you don't know the first thing about diagnosing anything. Yes, I do. I can diagnose anybody in this audience. Pick somebody out, I'll prove it to you. What makes you think somebody here is sick? Oh, well, they're here, aren't they? What? <laughs> what about the lady in the white right there? Oh, right there? Yeah. Oh, I, wait, wait, I can see this woman needs my help. How? Well, her lungs are badly swollen. I have some ointment. Stop that. <laughs> Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> if you're going to be a doctor, you have to know how to give a proper diagnosis. Oh, I can do that. Now, what's the first thing a doctor would do? Get the money up front. No! Ask her to take her clothes off. No! What? You ask about medical history. Who invented the stomach pump? Not that! <laughs> Personal stuff. Are you married? Do you have a boyfriend either than bigger than me? Now will you take your clothes off? No! <laughs> What would a doctor do next? Send her a bill. You check her pulse. Ah, I know wrong I with something. you. Send her a bill. Her pulse, my dear. I Good just need grief. to check it briefly. Thank you. Oh no! It, <laughs> it's, it's beating rapidly. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a moment. I can fix that. Where's he going? I don't know. He can't. Just a minute. I'll be right back. Now check it. Ooh, need your pulse back. Ah, it's back to normal. Happens all the time. <laughs> It's the sparkly eyes. Yeah, yeah. All right, check her eyes. Ah, there's two of them, all right. Her ears firmly attached. Her nose straight as a rudder. Anything else you think she needs? I think she needs a shot. So do we all. Make mine Jägermeister and make it a big one. No, no. <laughs> not Jägermeister. This is a vitamin shot. It's not going to hurt very much. It's just a little prick with a needle. She knows who you are. It's that needle thing that's got her worried. <laughs> 
Hang in there, kids. We'll get to your part of the show in a minute. Okay. Well, forget about the shot. I just want to examine your breathing. Now, I suppose it's rare for you to be narrow bone who's breathing, isn't it? Just leave me alone. Take a deep breath and hold it. My God, this is stupid. How long does she have to hold her breath? Till the wind shifts. I had three burritos for What lunch. kind of a doctor are you? <laughs> Not a very good this one. This is a waste of my time. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I got to get home. My wife's going to have a baby. When? About nine months after I get there. <laughs> I said, where are you going? I got about ten of these. You want to hear all of them? <laughs> where am I going? Where are you going? Fishing. You got worms? Yeah, but I'm going anyway. Stop <laughs> it. Where are you going? Where am I going? Where are you going? I'm gonna go to my sister's wedding. She's marrying an Irishman. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. I'm gonna ah! drop a safe on your neck. Where are you going? I'm gonna go play cards with the natives. Zulus? No, I usually win. Get a ready over the school bus. Where are you going? I'm gonna go visit my cousin in Alaska. No. Of course I know him. He's my cousin. I'm gonna stab you in the toe with a crowbar. Where are you going? I'm gonna go talk to a woman I just met. She's from Maine. Banger? Of course not. I just met her. Dasmina! <laughs> If you're gonna leave, leave. I'm a poet. I'll stand up here and poetize. Oh, for God's sake, sir, I've heard your poetry. <laughs> you have an ear for poetry. It's Van Gogh and for painting. What know you where the poets are? I was educated in London. <laughs> Everyone said that all the earmarks of a poet. That's earmarks. No, oh, the earmarks of an earmark. I'm a poet. I'm sorry. <laughs> What a great idea. Let's get here early, get a good seat. Struggle. Oh, oh. <laughs> How many of those things do you go through in a week? I eat so many of these, I can't sleep at night. Why not? I can see through my eyelids. <laughs> I'm spending way too much money on these snot. I'm starting to grow my own carrots. Well, good for you. Will you be getting any this year? No, I'll be too busy growing my own carrots. <laughs> you missed the line. What? It's the wrong line. I didn't hear it. I'm standing right next to I you. I didn't hear it. Why not? I don't know. I got something stuck in my ear. Well, you got something stuck in your ear. Well, you want to help me out? Well, help you out? You got a thousand people. I don't do care. We... If I can't hear the line, you we can't, can't do I can't the believe show. this. Let me look. My God, you couldn't ad lib a fart after a baked bean dinner, could you? <laughs> well, no wonder you can't hear anything. You've got a suppository in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I remember what I did with my hearing aid. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> my uncle, sir, my uncle is himself a poet of great renown. Your uncle? The infamous pirate poet Percy the Hook. Oh, you mean he of the hook arm? He of the hook arm and the two wooden legs. Two wooden legs? It gets worse. You're kidding. He got struck by lightning last week. No. His legs caught on fire and he burned to the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we move it's this a along a little joke. faster? There's I've someone got... on after us. What? Nope. I got another one about a guy with a patch over his eye and a hook. I said I'm going to move this along a little faster. There's someone on after us. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, but I think you blew my tweeter. <laughs> Is it true you laugh at death? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not really. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> now, surrender. Never. Give me one good reason why not. Oh, I don't know. I'm winning. You? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And how about yes. your <laughs> losing? <laughs> No, the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, but the socks don't know the difference. <laughs> well, now what? This is weird. What's the matter? With this and a hearing aid? Yeah. I'm picking up truckers on 169. <laughs> Twins game. Change channels. Ah! That was close. Yeah. You ever cut me there? I'll sue you. Yeah, it'll never stand up in court. Yar! <laughs> you know what? What? We have too many winky jokes in the I show, think Jack. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, Winky, and Magaga. Yeah, that sounds like a law firm. I wouldn't hire them. Why not? They're a bunch of dicks. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Damn. What? You got me right in the hand. Well, big deal. It is to me. Well, you know what they say, sir. No, what do they say? He who shall. So shall he who.
You know, if you stand close enough to his head, you can hear the ocean. Yeah, I hope you believe in reincarnation. Sir. I hope you believe in something besides that. I hope you believe in quitting the show. I believe you know, in you. Yeah, I okay. believe in, hey, you know what? What? I went through the desert on a horse with no nose. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Are you still oh, dropping a potato down the front of your tights to attract women? You mean it goes down the front? Ah! <laughs> Hey, you've got the Cuban problem. What problem is that? You got an old dictator down there. Hey! <laughs> yes, but you're still here, aren't you? <laughs> this is stupid. I know. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I need a deodorant. The ball type? No, the kind of goes under my arms. <laughs> Well, kids, I guess there's going to be a lot of questions in the car on the way home, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are Puke and Snot. Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you.